and we'll get one more recording in. So go ahead. Okay. So what I've got is this is my local copy. Yep. Now, first, I'm going to preface this with I built can you, this. Can you max garage. your screen? I'm sorry? Can you go on the max screen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. First thing I'm going to say is I built this in Google Drive, which I find very odd. And I'll explain why in a minute. This is what it comes up as, as the web copy. And when I search for this image, which is the same here, we're sorry, but something went wrong. Now here's yep. the kick. When I bring it up in Dropbox, I get it perfectly. And when I copy the image location, it has absolutely no issue and absolutely no difference. If I change this to SUNY Poly, dash back DM, it won't load. So that's the oddity. Works in Dropbox, but it was built in Google Drive. Can I see your Google Drive? Yes. Well, yes. And the failed, yeah, and, and the we're sorry, but something went wrong link again? Got it. Okay. Ugh, is that me? I don't know. It's all right. Search wiki two. Search wiki two. Images. Yep. Open images. Right there. Put it in the lit. That's it right there. Um, capital JPEG. Okay. Um, Same. I've done my due diligence. There's absolutely nothing that should be keeping it from displaying. Did you log out and log back into Google into Updog on Google Drive? No. We'll go to updog.co in a new tab. And um, um, back, back, go back. One more. Um, scroll down. Isn't there a logout? I thought there was a logout button. There's not. Well, I haven't. I'm not even signed in yet. Yeah, but you are. So try to log in. Sorry. Yeah. I can type. And I bet you that was, nope, it was the right password. That's Dropbox? Why is that? That's not what I want. I don't want Dropbox, I want Google Drive. Yeah. Um, you need to accept Google's request. That was not Google, that was Dropbox. I think, I think it might not be Dropbox, but I think this is, this is an updog issue, not a tiddlywinky issue. So, Google's not even letting me in. There it is. Now, so, it's now allow. It's going to come back with a Dropbox error. I can't even get to the Beck DM account on. Hold on. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the running simultaneous up dogs. Dropbox, Google, you kind of well, I, there's a, they're completely different accounts. I they understand that, yeah, but you're you've gone beyond my abilities to debug for you. Well, see, I built I'm building everything in Google Drive and dropping I, it over. I get it, yeah, okay. but I think you've got a, I think this is an updog issue. Okay. Um. Um. Try it to seems, log in with Dropbox. It seems to work better with Dropbox. It's, so as it's, I, I, yeah, I mean, if it's working in Dropbox, can we live with that for now? Yeah, do you just want to host everything through my DBAC21? Oh, I don't care. I mean, I won't even notice. Is that the right password? And then, um, yeah. Yeah, so try, so. So it's working with, with Dropbox. Yeah. There's that. And we just, yeah. I'll direct everybody to the DBAC21 site from now on. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working with Google Drive, but um, did you have any other tiddly wiki kinds of issues for us to work with? Um, 
no, what I was going to ask you to do yeah, is I wanted to fix your issue quick. Um, so if you want to kick me and share your screen. My Tiddly Wiki issue? Yeah, your uh, Tiddly Fox. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so let me, um, I'm going to take the screen back and I will look at that in a second. Okay. Um, and say, did, say or Billy, did you guys have questions or things? No? Oh, your portfolio catalog's up there. We're running late, so um, so I'm gonna. You want to mute? Me? I should be sharing my screen, right? Yeah. So this is Bill's. Um, So, so right now, I mean, you're sort of, you're still, you're poking around a bit, right? Yeah. So let's look at drink logo design reading. Is that the, let me see what you've got. So we've got, okay. I'm still at the issue with are showing up without, like I need to go through text to get the So right now we've got four tiddlers for the drink logo. The reading, the design, and your two logos, right? The design will bring you all And your your design is the master tiddler. Yes. And so every project, so these these are your projects. Right? Okay. And then this tiddler has no content. It's got some fields that you brought in with a spreadsheet. Okay. I'm trying to use the. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And so where is the. And this is the. You're using project title as your linking? So you're bringing these in. Is drink logo design and import is this in, this tiddler is imported right? Yeah. So anything tagged with projects is imported. Yeah. Okay, and um, those are yeah. Okay. So this is the one we're working on right now. So the challenge that you have Okay, so here's your Why do you call it drink logo design reading? Okay. Okay. This is hand typed. Right? Copy and paste it from where? Yeah, so an external source. None of this data is in corporate is in the spreadsheet? None of it. This is in your spreadsheet? Those paragraphs aren't the date, client, title, project, or I just haven't gotten rid of it. Because I'm still trying to figure out how to get everything to show up in the thing. Yeah. So there's only, if there's one that doesn't have that in the title. So you're going to parameterize all that stuff. Right. No, 
Okay. So you're going to parameterize those four things. Okay. So you know how to do that. And the drink logo does. Okay. So here's what I think what you do. Um, you go to the Oh, all my dates are screwed up. <coughs> um, oh, it's right here. Um, so there's this. Right here. It's the remove, or so it's the same logic, because all you do is add the suffix space reading to it, right? So you want to list filter title current tiddler remove suffix space reading. And let's just see if we can get the current tiddler. Because when you shift it, when you do another list filter, the current tiddler changes. Um, put some HRs around it so if we see if we're getting anything. The reason it's not working is that the current tiddler is titled draft of. So as soon as we get rid of this, um, so now we've got your tiddler. So now you could, um, that's the tiddler. So it's pound, pound, um, That's actually default, so we don't need that. What is it, project? Uh, maybe not. Drink logo design. Um, So the field is called, we'll do assignment. <laughs> we have to save it because we got the stupid draft of, now we're getting the assignment in there, right? So presumably you can get What's another field project title? Okay, so you get. Okay, okay. So what was the question? How do you get what? Like I only, my only issue is now if I do. You have that done in your template? How'd you do it? Did you do the same thing? We did this before then, right? Yeah. Why are you making me do it again? Oh, you do it too. No, is this what you meant? You already had it done? Yeah. Yeah, so that's okay for getting your projects. Well, that's what all fields are. Okay. Okay. Because I already have it in my spreadsheet or it's split up. You want to um, you're you're adding value in the reading titlers, right? 
so then what is the question is how do you call the reading tiddler into your project tiddler? Did I answer the wrong question? No, the question is like I'm gonna start probably with reading having I have to make up a new reading tiddler for so if you just have a straight load on, so it can only show that, and I'm going to have different tags for each different design, design, and different creation, and yep. that's what I'm going to have to do. I have to figure out how to get those to show up. Okay, so game, so the, what are the tags? Game asset creation, is that a tag? That looks like a project. Yeah, I haven't been able to put it in. Like all of the, if you go back to the Excel building, like that's what those other things are. Oh. I think you don't need to do that. So if in this row, it's called kind, right? Is kind the, the thing you want? Okay, so we're gonna tag each project with kind. And then on this one, these are the kinds, right? Yeah, I think you might not need that. This is, I'm actually, I did not make a copy of this, so you you just, this is all you got. I might be able to make a copy when I'm done. So here, let's append, let's set the title to, Oh, I see. So on your graphic design one, let's set the title field to the string from column kind. So that's gonna create a graphic design tiddler or an asset creation tiddler or something like that, right? That's all it's gonna do um, for every kind that you have. Yeah. So I think the other, your other rows can go. I think all these three rows can go, the title field not set. Um, sure, because you're gonna end up with four tiddlers at the end of the day from all of these rows. It's like, oh, graphic, oh, okay. yeah. right, it replaces. Um, and when you run that, you should get the, a tiddler for each kind. You can, and then you can template that so it will list them all. Or you can, you can make tabs for them. And what I would suggest you might do is use the design right style. So you've got one set of, a first row of tabs with kinds, and you click on it, and then below it, it will bring another tiddler with all your projects and you select a project, then you'll see your project. Yes. Select another project, see a project. And from there you can go to basically any kind in a two-step flow and get to any project. And that's a kind of cool portfolio approach. So don't have 